So you keep seeing this word action, Photoshop actions. You see people advertising that you can download them, you can buy them, you can install them in Photoshop. But what are they? How do you, how do you install them? What do they do? Are they really that awesome? <laughs> well, let me show you. Will Simpson here. Welcome back to Exploring Photography. Today, we're gonna go over a super quick one, and that is what a Photoshop action is. Photoshop action is simply a recorded set of steps that someone has done and recorded and exported that process. So you can simply click your layer, press play on the action, and it does everything for you. It's like super fast. They can speed up your workflow and your editing process so quick, especially if you're doing the same thing on every image. If there's one thing like sharpening or a uh, basic touch up or basic filter you're adding, these just allow you to quickly do it. So let me show you an example of an action. Here we are in Photoshop and this is one of the actions of a video that I just recently did and I give it away for free in that video. So make sure you go check out that video afterwards. But this is a sharpening action. So let's zoom in on this photo. Now you notice that the eye is slightly blurry. So we're gonna do an action in this to sharpen this eye. Now, you'll notice over here that there's no actions. If you don't see a panel that says actions, I'm gonna say actions in this video like eight million times. So, start counting. <laughs> Fun game. Uh, go up to window, find the word actions, and select it. You'll notice that it now pops up over here. And you'll see all of these actions here. Let's go ahead and select the action that I created. Let's click this drop down box. Let's click the action, and then press play you'll notice here that this has now been created down here sharpening. If I click this little drop down arrow, you'll notice there's all of these little bits that have come into being. They have just appeared because in a previous video, I did these steps, I recorded this action, and now it's super fast. But if you look at the eye now, here's the before, here's the after. It's just a lot of sharpening immediately done in two seconds. So how do you install an action? Hey everyone. Did you know that it is my two year anniversary of being on YouTube? Can you believe that? That is crazy. I have done at least one video almost every week, sometimes more for the past 104 weeks. I have a total of 114 videos out right now. And all of these videos are dedicated to making you the best photographer you can be. And you might be thinking, man, he is rolling in the cash. I found in my pocket, look. A year's salary! I've seen some YouTubers making 60,000, 100,000, or more a year with less content. He must be up there. Well, let me show you how much I've made in two years. From time of monetization, March 1st, 2021, to now, I have made about $857. <laughs> Not a very livable income, but there are more factors that come into play. For example, the longer you watch the video, when you comment, like, share, and especially when you watch my entire video and then click another one of my videos to watch right after. Those are things that really help. But besides that, I have greatly enjoyed making these videos for you and helping you become a better photographer. However, unfortunately, at this point, I really need your help so I can continue to make the free tutorials that you love. So I created a Patreon. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Patreon, it is a social funding platform that for just a small monthly fee, you can support creators like me. Becoming a patron also entitles you to benefits and perks that no one else receives. You can choose the amount you wanna contribute, choose how long you wanna contribute, but any amount you choose helps me continue to make these tutorials that you love. Now, since I just created a Patreon, I created a special Founding Explorers tier, which includes all the benefits of the other tiers and includes a monthly group coaching call that is only for this tier. Space is limited to only 25 people and it's a special launch price as well. So go grab your seat before it's filled up. I put a link in the description for you. So with your support, we can continue to make you the best photographer you can be. And that is my goal. And finally, I wanna thank my first patron who signed up right away, George Anton, I, I hope I pronounced that right. I greatly appreciate your support, sir. Thank you. Now, let's get back to the video. So how do you install an action? Well, if you've ever downloaded an action, it probably looks like something like this. It simply just says actions. Now, how do you get that into Photoshop? Go to Photoshop, 
go to the actions menu, go to the little three lines here, click that, scroll down to load actions, and then you're gonna find where you save this action, you're gonna select it, and you're gonna simply press open. And there you go, it pops right in. Super quick and easy. I, I mean, it's so, so simple. But let's go ahead and delete that since it's already in there and it's already a duplicate. Deleted the wrong thing, that's okay. Delete the action, okay, good. Because I already have it right here, no big deal. Now, let's say you wanna record an action. You wanna, you, there's this certain process that you do and you wanna record it and then save it. How do you do that? So what you do is you collect, select the layer where you wanna start from. Go into your action panel. First thing we're gonna do is create a new folder and we're just gonna call this sample action and keep select that one. And then we're gonna select the square with the plus sign. This will give us a new action menu. We're gonna call this sample action. Uh, it's gonna be saved in sample action. You can give it a hotkey and you can give it a color label if you want. Leave those just the same and press record. Now everything, you'll notice the record button is now highlighted. Everything you do from now until you press stop is then recorded. So let's go ahead and make a copy of this background layer. Press command or control J. Let's, uh, let's go up into overlay, let's add that filter. Let's go ahead and select um, a curves adjustment and let's just, we're just gonna mess with this a little and really create something just so you can see what happens. And then let's create a color lookup panel and load this color. Sure, why not? Good, now we've done all that. We've done all of those actions. Then we go to the stop button and press stop. Now, all of those actions have been recorded. So then if we collapse this menu here, we have our sample action folder and our sample action. Now let's go ahead and delete all of this stuff that we just did. Select the background, go up into our sample action and press play and boom, see? Just like that. So if you do something over and over and over again and you're tired of doing it over and over again, create an action and there you go. Now let's say you want to export an action. Let's say you wanna save this so you can share it to friends. Simply select the action, the folder, sample action, click the three lines, scroll down to save action, uh, pick the folder, save action, sample action, save, and there you go. There's your saved action. So that's all there is to it. That is everything you need to know about actions. How to upload them, how to make them, how to save them, how to install them, and how awesome they actually are. So if you wanna get one of the new actions, go ahead and click the link in the description, my, my sharpening action, and uh, that link will give it to you, no problem. But otherwise, I hope this answers any of your questions regarding actions. Hit the like button if it did. If you have any other questions, you know what to do. Comment, ask me below, you know, where the description is. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Do videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. This was a special Thursday video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week.